What's up guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications. Me and Austin don't want you guys missing a single video in the future, but today we're going to be breaking down, talking everything on the 2022 horror film, The Retaliators. And yeah, I'm just going to let Austin start off with this, with first impressions and some of the characters. I'll go and say this now. The trailer for The Retaliators, it looks absolutely amazing. It completely looks like batshit insane. We've got appearances from Five Finger Death Punch, we got Papa Roach, we got From Ashes to New in there, and we have The Pasture, played by Michael Lombardi. Nobody knows Michael Lombardi, but he sounds pretty cool, you know, with the name like Michael Lombardi, you feel like that dude's gonna come in and kick some ass, like... I think Michael Lombardi's probably going to be the main character with Ivan of Five Finger kind of being like the the side role. And I think they're going to kind of make up uh, as like the two people you care most about. It basically follows uh, Michael Lombardi's character trying to find the killer that killed his sister by tying her hands with zip ties to the steering wheel of a car. And I'm going to presume drowning her, driving her into a lake. And then uh, some dude finds Michael Lombardi and says, well, I found the guy that, you know, like that killed your sister. And, you know, you get one minute alone with him. The only rule is you can't kill him. And I'm going to presume Michael Lombardi took the time to say here and like uh, torture the man and probably ended up accidentally killing him. I'm going to say so. But if he kills the killer, then who do we then who's going to be the killer in the movie? Well, I'm going to take a guess here and say the killer of the movie is going to be a ton of different people trying to hunt them down, trying to hunt for, or Ivan and Michael Lombardi down. Only reason I call them uh, Michael and Ivan right now is because we don't know their characters' names really. No, we don't. And plus, um, Jacoby Shaddix is in this movie, which not a lot of people actually caught in the trailer, but I did. You know, that's funny because I don't think I caught that in the trailer. I did. I did. Okay, who's he play then? I gotta call him Jacoby because we don't know what he we don't know what character he plays. Alright, uh I mean what part in the trailer was he in? Um he was in the scene where it said like happy birthday and you see him like holding a gun. Oh that that was our boy. Yep. That's our boy. Honestly, I'm super hyped to see this film. I mean, like Austin said, the trailer went absolutely insane. You didn't really learn too much, like, other than, like, there was a killer, he got caught, or the dude lets Michael Lombardi sit here and torture him a little bit, and, like, that's all you really learn, and then you realize that Ivan is trying to find um his brother. Yeah, because in, in the trailer, he goes, Where's my brother?! Uh, who was with you? It was uh, it was another person from Five Finger. Was it Chris? It was either Chris or Zoltan. It was Zoltan. Yeah, it was Zoltan, not Chris. I'm honestly super hyped to see this movie. And I think it comes out, what, next month? Yep, September 14th. Damn, dude, that's super close. That's like two days before Kyle's birthday. Me and Austin are definitely going to review that day one. I don't care if we have to go to the theaters to see this bitch. We are seeing this movie day one because it looks absolutely phenomenal. The cinematography and everything, like, it it doesn't look like your normal slasher film, though. It looks like a, almost a whodunit mixed with, like, a jigsaw type of vibe. I agree, and plus, Five Finger Death Punch... Papa Roach and the Who made music, made songs specifically for this movie. If you hear the, if you listen in the trailer, you hear Wolf Totem by the Who and Papa Roach playing in the trailer. And Five Finger Death Punch also did a song for this movie called Darkness Settles In, which is a single off their off, F8 album. Off their F8 album, and both songs have videos for them. So that just goes to show you how long this uh, movie's been in production. Like. F8 came out, what, like two years ago? Mm -hmm. And that song was made two years ago for this movie. Or maybe the movie just said, hey, can we just throw this in here? Like, who knows if this, uh, if the song was actually made for the movie or if it was just thrown in. But if it was made for the movie, then this movie's been in development for at least well over two years. I agree. And, I mean, you can literally see how it shows, like... This movie, guys, looks absolutely phenomenal, and we kind of went from straying to the story. I guess we can quickly uh, talk about our overall pros and cons of the trailer right quick. I agree. Um, pros of the movie, the cinematography looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the characters look really good. 
I love how Papa Roach and Five Finger Death Punch from Ashes to New are all going to be in this movie playing great roles. Um, I and the trailer looks absolutely crazy, and I can't think of really of any cons. My pros, like Austin said, the characters, I mean, like, it's a bunch of, like, people that me and Austin literally listen to daily, and, like, that just gets me all the more hyped, especially Ivan being in it, being he's, like, my favorite lead uh, singer, vocalist all time here. I just think, like, this is going to be a fun movie to watch, and the story of it, like, we've said multiple times, looks insane, but I just want to ask one question, Austin. What's the question? What are they still doing here? Go watch, watch the, the trailer! Movie. Go watch the trailer, and then when the movie comes out... Watch it! We'll review Go it. watch the movie when it drops! Yes, and go watch the trailer since it's out now! And we forgot to go ahead and throw this in the beginning. This is me and Austin's first together in person, in real life, Horror After Dark. Yes, that it real- is. Yes, yes, sir. I love it. Now what are your, now what do you rate the trailer? I got to say here and uh give this trailer an easy 9 out of 10 just from cinematography, characters and like it doesn't spoil too much. I have to agree. I'm going to go 9.5 out of 10. 9.5? Yes. I mean, I'm just overall hyped to see Ivan in a movie. I don't even know if he's ever been in a movie before this, but like Bro, I'm super excited to see my boy on the big screen. I'm excited too. I cannot wait for this movie to come out. If we out. have a chance to see this in theater, since we can't see Fight Finger in person, we got to see this movie in person. Yes, we do. 100%. We will see this in theaters if it drops in theaters. It's going to. Oh, it, okay. oh, it is? Yep. All right, bet. I thought it was going to drop on some streaming service. If it's dropping in theaters, Austin, we need to go see it. Yes, we do. And need then to go we got to review it the same night we see it. I agree. It's going to be a good time, guys. But, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and quickly hop into the Daily Austin plugs and send us off with an apology right quick for the long wait in between videos. Me and Austin's been, like, working on EPs and, like, we've been trying to set up, like, getting here. Austin's uh, getting ready for college and, like, we're just, like, sitting here doing all this, this, and this. And, yeah, so, you know, we, we've been a little busy, but we're back and we apologize for the two-week wait. But, Austin, let's hop into those daily plugs. Okay. Now, you've heard me and Joe give our thoughts on the trailer for The Retaliators. Now, we want to hear your guys' thoughts. Form your opinions in the comment section below, guys. Give us your thoughts. And if you missed our previous video, click that link in the description box below. Check it out and check out The Retaliators that comes out September 14th. And check us out next week. We'll have a new Horror After Dark. Joe, is there anything you want to add before we sign? Our new Horror After Dark next week is going to be Halloween 2018. So we can go ahead and set up for this new timeline of Halloween. And then Halloween 2018 kills and then ends. We will be doing ends as soon as it hits theaters. Whenever we see it the same night, of course, we'll be reviewing it. We'll probably see it. It's a religious thing me and Austin do here that we see each Halloween movie after the day of release. So like the next day. But we will be getting that out for y'all. But next week, expect Halloween 2018. And then after that, expect Grave Encounters 2 to finish that series off. And yeah, guys, I hope you had a good uh, weekend. I hope uh, everything's going good for you guys. And we are back. And yeah, our first in-person Horror After Dark, you know, that this is it. Like, you know, what you've been waiting for. We love y'all and peace.